Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm at the explosive one. Let's crack it to another one. TNT. Yo. Do you know how to make a Jehovah's Witness leave your door? <laughs> yeah, tell them to leave. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, uh. <laughs> they do. They don't. <laughs> they do when I do. Are you scared? You threaten them? I, I, what look, do you what, say? If you're scared of me, that is your own fault. I mean, when you have <laughs> a gun or a hatchet, like when you stand no. in my bedroom door. That's scary. Last night it was a kitchen knife. Yeah. <laughs> I like to go to the like bathroom to at up. three a.m. Open the door here, just stand in there. I like to switch. Like, it what up? up? I'm eating steak out here. <laughs> um, what is your suggestion? I feel like just something to go away and not come back generally works as long as you're like you know, it's the way uh, you approach them. It. I. Uh, I actually it was something that came up on Reddit today. No, oh, yeah, sure. And the answer is tell them that you have been disfellowshipped. They aren't allowed to talk to someone who has been disfellowshipped. And then the next comment was like, better yet, let them come in for 30 minutes and then tell them that you were disfellowed. And then they have What the hell is disfellowship? It's like excommunicated from the Jehovah community. I need to know what constitutes being disfellowshipped because that is the weirdest word I've yeah, ever heard. And, in and my I life. was reading some more of the comments and I guess like and I guess um, they say that, and, it's, and they, this wasn't specific about Jehovah's Witness, but right. it said that like it will, they send people to the doors like that to have everyone tell them no and treat them poorly to make them believe that no one will accept them but them. Really? So it's like, it's, and they do that like in other cults. It's like, yeah, everyone else will reject you but us. So it's like you go there. It's like, go, yeah, go out the doors. Spread, spread the word. And everyone's like, get the fuck out of here. Da, 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 da. So it just proves to them uh, more that the only it people reinforces that, that. That the only people that will accept them are other Jehovah's Witness or whatever. And I don't know if that's, I don't know. They didn't specifically say that was a Jehovah's Witness. So thing. this fellowship is uh, in some Protestant religions, the status of a member who, because of some serious infraction of church policy, has denied the church sacraments and any post of responsibility and is officially shunned by the other members so it's probably similar to the amish where they go out for their i can't remember what's called when they're like 16 they get to go live like a couple weeks out in like the real world and they get to decide and if they yeah. decide they're excommunicated from the amish community apparently they can be reinstated and back into the congregation <laughs> can you imagine how they feel about that there's there's zeb like how how do you get how to get this fellowship <laughs> <laughs> The FBI, the guy in the FBI van right now is just, he's like, what the hell is he doing? All right. Uh, apparently, he got, yeah, it just says some serious sin. There has to be something, though. So I'm thinking, like, I think you can pretty much name off, like, some of the serious sins. Well, but, I mean, you could probably, like, use Jehovah's name in vain. No, that's not a serious sin. Serious sin would be, like, a sexual harassment, a killing. I mean, it doesn't happen in the Catholic Church. Why would it happen in Bruh, please. Yeah, having sex as a nun. And we're talking about Jehovah's Witness, not Catholic, too, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. There's no there's no big scandals behind Jehovah's Witnesses. Are, are you sure? I mean, can you name one? I don't. They keep Do you a have, secret. I mean, I mean if, you, if you want to give me a contrary, then give me a give me an example. All right, I'm doing nope, one right Don't now. give me Let's a go. straw man argument. Give me a real argument. All right. Ooh, but, five members of Jehovah's Witness congregations were tra charged with sexual child abuse by the Pennsylvania Attorney General on Friday. That was July 9th, 23. That was a month that ago. That was a month ago. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> all right, now give me what all What is the latest? Why are Jehovah's Wait, here's, this, here's another. You know, like right, I Google says related We questions. are not going to be attacking Jehovah's Witnesses on this podcast. Well, no, no, all right, no. let's keep it going. No, but, but yeah. But the next. Let's be but, careful. Oddly enough, the, re the next related question was why jehovah's witnesses are not saved and i don't even know what that oh means oh my god dude so quick little jehovah witness fact since we're still here i actually went to a jehovah's witness uh service once did they shun you no they were actually it was very interesting because you know like the whole idea is like they they want to get you into the fold they want to the watchtower is their thing that thing they okay. hand very funny fact so the watchtower is actually the weekly reading that is I wouldn't say like demanded but recommended for At when the you, church for when you go to service that day. All of the Jehovah's Witness churches operate off of that watchtower. The same thing every week. And they all teach a sermon based on that watchtower. The watchtower changes every week. 
It's not the same. It changes every week. And it's just a diagram for the sermon that the preacher should be teaching the people for that so it's week. Like, but it's universal. So it's like. It's universal. Oh, so, hold on a second. So it is like hmm? the news. Where no, all the news is telling the same story. No, because it's all it's all from the same book. It's all from the Bible. I'm not sure if they use a different version of the Bible because, like I said, watchtowers generally you just bring the watchtower and then they'll say like turn to your Bible and and then you'll like it be in the watchtower. Oh, they use the Bible too. Yeah. So what I would so uh. the easiest way I can say it is like, do you remember being in like grade school when they would give you like a a packet and it have a bunch of different worksheets in it and you do like color and shapes on one page and then the next one would be like a word problem and then the next one would yeah, be yeah, like yeah, yeah. a science issue maybe like which one's the monkey? It's similar to that. It's very, very similar to that, but geared towards like religion. So it's like, oh, so Jesus said that he loved everyone. Turn to your Bible. Okay. Jesus loved everyone. This is why Jesus loved everyone. And that's what it is. It's it's very, very like, it's very rudimentary. And the fact that it's universal, it's kind of like all the school systems teaching all the children the same curriculum. Is what this it's is like. like all around the world. Exactly. Statues crumble. For On me. the same note, it does have a weird feel of kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> it kind of feels like who the hell is dictating what is being taught? You know, who is the watchtower? Exactly. Hold on a Who's second. Big watchtower. I believe Jimi Hendrix said all along the watchtower was Jimi Hendrix a Jehovah's Witness. I don't know. Honestly, there's a good chance. There's he a good did chance. acid. Are they allowed to do? Are they allowed to do acid in the Jehovah Wit Witness faith? Uh, or is it Jehovah? That might get you. That might be grounds for disfellowship. If you come to come to church tripping balls, if they catch you doing drugs, yeah, I could see you getting disfellowship for that. Yeah, absolutely. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know a lot about religion. Does that make me a heathen? No, it just means that that doesn't interest you. I mean, I like I said, I, my, my father was actually like a pastor of a church, so it was kind of like forced down my throat. It's just normalized for you. Yeah, and so I I do have like some interest in like like I'd like to go to a Shinto uh, service. I don't know if they have service. That's like Japanese religion. I like going to different churches. Though. I've been to Catholic weddings. I've been to Catholic. I went to Catholic school when I was okay. When I was Did a you kid. Wear like a bow tie. <laughs> that. I think that's Jehovah. No, that's that's Muslims. That's black Muslims too, not Arab Muslims. Those are different. Really? Yeah, Arab Muslims and black Muslims are different. Are they? Are do they? Are they at odds? Uh, similar belief structure, but a little bit different. I mean, is that like the Shiites and the other in Iraq? Like they fight each other? Like it's like a they're like think, yeah like. Yeah. confrontational sex of the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, like, same, same, same appeal, same ideals, but a little bit less of the, like, women beating. <laughs> you say women beating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, black Muslims respect women more? Is that what I mean, yeah, yeah. We live in America, so we, you know, we oh, tend to... Oh, wait, there's to, not black Muslims outside of America? There, yeah. They might, I, I don't know. I just know it's like whenever you, you say Muslim, people automatically think... 9-11 so not those muslims gotcha different it's, it's type like of a uh, prison yeah black muslim is not strapping dynamite to himself and killing nobody i tell you that I they're ain't not doing... suicide bombers there's we, no yeah. jihad for the yeah. black muslim black muslim is not gonna smack a black muslim bitch because a black black muslim bitch slap back and that's not fun that's not fun for anybody it's not fun to hit people if they're gonna hit no, you back is what you're no. saying that's a bad time for everybody to be honest so you hit people that won't hit you back yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Who are they? Why don't you talk about them, them for a minute? Let's get I don't know. Uh, quadriplegics. Wow. Uh, you know. We're not going to make fun of Jehovah's, and then you're talking about hitting quadriplegics. Honestly, I feel like this is a good, a good, a good pivot. <laughs> the Jehovah's Witness slander was getting a little heavier. There's no slander. It's there was all no slander. It's all, in, no it's all in, like, I mean, that was a reported news article. I didn't say that they did it or didn't. In, well, what's the thing you say? Allegedly. Allegedly. This whole episode has been allegedly. Yeah. Well, except for my own personal experience and, and, and knowledge. That's you, all alleged. Did you know that Hovah's Witness only think that 1,300 people are getting into heaven? It's 1,324, 42, something Out of like 8 that. billion? Yeah, man. Seats you got to work hard to get that you ticket. Better read your watchtower. Every time they hand me one, I read it. You don't. You've never once. I've read it. I have. Yeah, I um. I used to have a friend who would rip them up. In front of them, 
no. set it on fire. You know, because they'll like leave them in like uh like if you have an apartment, they'll leave like a stack of them at the apartment or something. I used to rip them up and throw them out. Oh wow! I uh, when I was in Washington recently, it was the last time I tried to be solicited by a Jehovah's Witness with the Watchtower. Yeah, I walked really far away, and he ran up and put it in my pocket. No, he did not. <laughs> no, he did not. He was just like, "Excuse me, sir." Just they talk. they are very very nice people. I will Absolutely. tell you that much. Um, it like when I was leaving the service, it was very interesting how many of them did like approach me just to like, "Hey," and you could just tell they want to be like, "Hey, so you're coming back? Why don't you come on back? Hey, why don't you let me talk to you?" For but they did not. But you could sense it. The more you bring in, is do you have a better shot at getting at the table? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah. So if you only have 1,300 seats, like, do families go against each other to get people in the church so they get better seats at the table? <laughs> yes, it is religious MLM. Yeah, like, dad, just, <laughs> dad, dad, yes. dad, like, pushes this kid out the front door and is like, come on in. That's, he's like, I get the, then he's like, I get the spoils. That's hilarious. But yes, I think that is true. It is religious MLM. So like hungry, if you can, hungry hippos yeah. of... If you can bring more people brand. into the fold to can further push the the product, then yes, you are guaranteed a higher level. Wow, it's like selling knives. <laughs> like I said, okay. it, it's it's Sephora. Isn't that it's Sephora. <laughs> Isn't that every religion though? Don't like the yeah, people yeah, do? yeah. It's so funny that you said that because you just gave me a new perspective. That's very interesting. Yeah, like everybody's trying to bring everybody in, and they and they put it like, "Hey, this community, we love you." Yeah, it's, it's but they want to be closer to God by bringing you into God's. Bro, it's spiritual Revlon. What do you want? <laughs> spiritual Avon. Avon. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe she's born with it. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's all right, Jesus. That, that's that's all time here for today's episode. Go to the crazy time. Conference, Jonas. Do you think? Oh, yep. Yeah.